the Sunday review, review, redo. Uh, we just got back from a fabulous Sunday review, review, redo. Uh, it's Sister Mary. Sister Mary, Mary Mary's back. Oh my God, it's so twelve hours of drag. Yay! Hello, and welcome to The Dope Show, the dragging our heels show that's going to be talking about the drag that we saw this past weekend in Edmonton and other places around Alberta, and what we've got coming up next on our channel. Uh, I'm Ferris Fair, and I'm Bambi Dextrous, and we have a really full episode because we saw a lot of drag this weekend. We really did. So why don't we just delve into it? Um, Friday night was Alberta's Next Drag Superstar, the first preliminary. That was a fabulous show and a great way to kick off the series. I'm super excited about it. Uh, yeah. You, you were a part of the show. What did you think? I mean, everyone did really, really good on Friday. Like, the judges didn't have an easy time selecting who would go through. And we had a surprise performer come out in JonBenet Ramsme was the surprise. Uh, queen in our preliminary round, and Jean Benet made it through. As Kat. did as did Nova Gina, uh, Nova Gina, and and, Kat. and as did Cat Marlowe Menora. Exactly. Uh, there was one more twist besides the mystery queen, and that was the fact that the fourth and fifth performer, uh, or fifth fourth and fifth place, had to do a lip sync for your life. And oh my goodness! Bam and it was me. Yes, <laughs> Bambi Dextrous and Andrew Ginny. Uh, battled it out and, and uh, did a fabulous job and, and uh, yeah, congratulations to both of them. Uh, Andrea was the one that, that won 3-2, to two, so she will be moving on to the semifinals. Joining the other three to the semifinals so which is, far. Which is awesome. So we are super excited and uh, can't wait for the next round of Anne's. Cause, yes, uh, that'll be that's two what, weeks. Exactly. So if that's what we've started with, who knows what's coming. Yes. Uh, Saturday, I was able to go to the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Roses show, uh, Dukes and Flower Crowns. Um, had a fantastic time, uh, so thank you for having, having us there. Videos for that are all up on the web already. Um, it was a drag show slash contest. Crown contest. Crown, uh, flower crown contest. And why didn't I enter that? I still don't know. Like, I love flowers. I have flowers here on the set. I have all the supplies to make a flower crown. So next time, next year, if flower this goes your best on, friend. I'm just gonna have to do it. And that's yes. right. Yes. So next year, we should hopefully have that. Anyway, uh, the winners of the contest was uh, Divina Die For got first place, and it was fabulous, mm -hmm. fabulous. Uh, Indigo uh, was second. Yeah. With Trailer Park Trash in third place, modeled by Can You Do It. Yes. Um, Can You Do It was the model for that. As well. And and those were all beautiful. It was it was fun, and there was a lot of crowd participation and everything in that too. So that was neat. Um, I just quickly want to do a shout out for a few of the numbers, and I think David wanted to talk about one too. But um, Dixon, um, a thing called Love, like it was so good. It was just it was so high energy, so amazing, so great. Um, I think you wanted to, Christy and Trey. Yeah, Christy and Trey. They brought back a duet that they've done before, mm -hmm. and it's really, really good. Uh, check it out on Dragging Our Heels. Uh, it's called The Stud and a Babe, yeah. and it's just phenomenal. It, it's really good group number, one of my favorites for sure. I, I think it may have actually even been better than the first time you guys did it. So, yes. Uh, yeah, fantastic job. Uh, I also wanted to, uh, a quick shout out to Jeffy Lube Express and to uh, Randy Quiver. Uh, both of them, neither one of them perform uh, nearly enough, and it was so it's great to, to have them out them performing uh, great numbers, and, and we're always happy to have oh, some yeah, extra videos totally. on our channel. So, thanks for that. Yay! Sunday. Sunday. Oh my god. <laughs> and we say at the same time, uh, we both know what's coming. Sunday was our drag marathon. Um, and uh, we shouldn't be complaining because uh, people like Sister Mary Clarence and Can You Do It had uh, did did a heck of a lot more than we did. did so more than we did. Uh, we only filmed two of the shows, even. Exactly. So we started off our day. We went to the Queen's Brunch at Match. Yes, Match. Uh, eatery and pub, pubbery or something. Um, it's in the Grand Villa uh, Casino. Yes. 
Um, and uh, so yeah, they do a brunch, and they do a drag show, and Sister Mary hosts, and uh, she had just got back in from L.A. and Like literally just got back in from L.A. that morning and was already in drag and Yeah. Oh, I can't believe the day that she must have had. Unbelievable. Uh, but yeah, it was, a, it was actually quite a, quite a fun show. Uh, Vanity absolutely slayed it, as she always does. Um, she brought three of my favorites to the stage. She did a Dolly number, she did a Cher number, and she did a Reba number. So, uh, like, really, like, and people, well, there were people in Match who had never been to a drag show before, and it was really great to see some iconic <laughs> celebrity impersonation performances from Vanity, who does it so well, but yeah. it's so good to see that for people who hadn't been to a drag show before. Exactly. Well, and it gives, it's something that they can connect to. Yes. As opposed to just uh, a drag queen dropping down onto the floor yeah, and not possibly, to <laughs> possibly shattering her bones. Uh, not to pick on anybody, but we, yeah, it's more relatable than than that. It's a different kind down. of relatable, because again, there's a different... I shouldn't be picking on JVR, uh, because again, you're wonderful and I'm, I'm about to gush about you. Uh, yeah, you But yeah, <laughs> that, that number that you did, like the, the whole audience was was just a gasp every time you jumped. So oh my God. It, was, it was amazing, but... Um, we're not condoning it. Please don't, don't hurt yourself. Um, but the numbers that I actually want to talk about is the ukulele. I absolutely loved it, and mm -hmm. um, it's it's such a fun number. And and you had me in praying. I was just I was yeah, just I was so just crying. Emotional. I know your connection to it. And Kari was just yeah. Anyway, yeah, we're uh, we are all a fan of it. We all are a fan of JBR. Exactly. So anyway, if you get the opportunity to check out one of Queen Mary, uh, Queen Mary, <laughs> uh, one of Sister Mary's Queen's brunches, there, uh, it was a fun time. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, uh, I will like to invite you right now to uh, the next one. Yeah. I mean, um, why not? So the next show next month at Queen Mary will be a fundraiser for the ISCWR, I believe. Mm -hmm. And. Well, I've been invited to perform in that one, so Yay! Dragging Our Heels will be there in full force. We will. So uh, I'll be sending out a post to invite you to Bambi's brunch, I'm sure, fairly soon. Uh, anyway, we have a lot more of Sister Mary to cover, but uh, the brunch was fun. Yes. Um, <clears throat> we actually got a little bit of a break. I'm not sure Martin got much of one, uh, but we were all back at Evolution for 7 o'clock for What's My Hebrew Name? Uh, again, hosted by Sister Mary Clarence for the a fundraiser for the Jewish Federation? J-Code? J-Code. Yes. J-Code. Yay, I got it right. I think you're right. I think you're right. Is there a buzzer noise that we can play? <laughs> I'll edit that in. There you go. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, it was a fun show. Um, and for a room full of absolutely virgins, I thought Sister Mary did a, did a fabulous job of... of Drag virgins. <laughs> I thought Sister Mary did a fabulous job of... Um, Playing the, the she was walking she was the line. walking the line yeah yeah she wasn't crass she wasn't vulgar but she 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 was a little dirty you know what I mean she poked at things she anyway it was she did a good job uh, yeah. so uh, congrats to you on that um, the I also wanted to do a shout out to a couple of the people both um, Ivy and uh, and and can you do it the audience was living yes. for both of your numbers um, and and it was it was fun. Uh, the, the women behind us were just hollering through, through, I'm not pregnant, I'm just fat. So, uh, good job to both of you for, for representing and, and, yes. and, and showing some diversity in the community in, in, in teaching people about what drag is. And really quick, like, um, really quickly, you're the Miss Ivy League. Mm -hmm. She brought out her cat number. Mm -hmm. Again, it was a very, uh, sort of out there number but done really charismatically and she has so much charm about her like people didn't mind when Ivy League was jumping up on their laps and rubbing against their breasts and their laps it's true Ivy like has so normal kitty cat yeah would. Ivy has so much charm that she was able to pull it off and and yeah it was it was it was very well done yeah uh, uh, the second number, I'm so excited. Well, girl, I'm now so excited for what you're going to bring towards Anne. So, oh, uh, you worked that. Womp womp. <laughs> um, one quick more shout out um, from that show. Uh, Plastica did "Man, mm -hmm. I Feel Like a Woman," and I have to say it. Um, if that number had been on Friday uh, during Anne's, we may have had a different result. I really enjoyed that number from. 
from yes. Plastica. That may be my favorite one you've, you've ever done. And funny because it was discussed between us of, man, I feel like a woman was almost Bambi's Anne's number two. So, it's uh, true. We did so, talk about that as a potential. So anyway, uh, that, that was yet another great show. Yeah. Um, and then we an stuck later. around for <laughs> yeah, another yeah, drag yeah. show uh, at Evolution, yeah, and we love you. And, and uh, uh, anyway, why <laughs> Mary's back uh, was was round three of the Sister Maryathon on on Sunday, and and it was yet a, another good show. I, I don't know how she was even conscious, let alone <laughs> let alone upright. But uh, yeah, like uh, each show was was diverse. Each show was fun. Uh, I didn't talk about it in the second show, but uh, all three of the numbers were picked by Rob last minute, and like she mm -hmm. had to like just throw it out she there. Really and really did a job. To, and, like... Yeah. So in the third show, she redid a number from brunch. Um, the we just, we just called story time with her. So I don't even know. Opening monologue. There we go. Uh, but yeah, and it was just her telling a story about uh, an adventure in, an adventure in, LA, in LA in West Hollywood and. And all that I stuff. love that story, so I'm really happy she repeated it for the third show. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> it was very funny. Um, quickly, just also uh, want to do a quick shout out to Ivy from the Mary's Back show. Um, I thought Bring On The Men was absolutely fabulous. Yes. Uh, <laughs> How about those male models? Right? right? Yes. <laughs> and not bad when you have the Emperor and Alberta's drag superstar carrying you out. Like, nice I'm nudge. I'm masculine. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Go, Davina. I just <laughs> the look on your face, girl. Um, have to shout out to uh, Twiggy. Uh, girl, Twiggy's and so amazing. Anytime she's on the stage, she's got a chance of stealing the show, and she did yet again. Yes. Uh, both Fever was fabulous, and uh, what did I say? It was just giving me 60s realness, and um, mm. something we talked about earlier, David and I, was from the moment Twiggy walks on stage, she has the audience in the palm of her hand, and it's just the slightest move, the slightest gesture, the slightest like the crowd is just with her with everything mm. she does. Um, she's just a master of. Yeah of the art um, and we are so lucky to have her uh, so lucky to have someone like Twiggy like, yeah like <laughs> it would just be a whole bunch of like 20 something year olds <laughs> <laughs> as I am one of them right <laughs> uh, but yeah Twiggy we love you girl so please uh, any excuse anybody has to book Twiggy for absolutely anything please do because I will never ever 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 complain thank you um, we also want to talk about what we have coming up because oh, yeah. if that wasn't enough, we have yet another busy drag weekend coming up this week. Um, Thursday, no. you're not going to be able to make it, oh, but right. it's the it's the McEwen Pride Week drag show at the Towers at 6:30. Mm -hmm. um, Vanity Fair, Indigo, Ivy League, can you do it? Cat Merlot, Menorah. It's going to be a fabulous show. So drag your videos will be there. Yes. So look yeah, for those hour. videos next week. Uh, Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm excited. Latrice motherfucking Royale is going to be in the house, and I cannot wait to see her and meet her and greet her and yes. uh, get some footage of her and get those nuts out of my face. Right? Yeah. I, I am so looking forward to that. Uh, opening numbers are going to be uh, Davina, Ivy, Myra, Lady T, and I think a couple others. So yeah. uh, it is going to be the place to be. Um, and it is a sh sold out show. I, if as if well. it's not, if it's not, it's very close. So it's yeah. pretty much sold out. Um, but if you can't make it to the Latrice show because it's sold out, there is another just down the street at Denizen Hall. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, Law School's a Drag uh, mm -hmm. is the name of that, and that is again going to be hosted by uh, our dear friend, Sister Mary Clarence. Um, I guess she had done this last year as well. It's a it's a re it's an annual event. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, rugby players, hockey players, drag queens, all dressed oh up in drag. It's it should be actually <laughs> quite interesting. And we've heard a rumor that Katrina Waters returns from the depths. Uh, oh my goodness. So, uh, we're, as far as I know, I don't think any of us are going to be able to make it, so uh, that's the only place you're going to catch that. So, yeah. uh, if you're not going to Latrice, you better be heading down to the Denizen. <laughs> um, finally, there's another thing on Saturday, I don't think, I believe there's a burlesque show at Evolution, uh, so feel free to check that out as well. And then on Sunday... The Sunday Review. The Imperial Review. 
Um, it's the, featuring most of the upper house. Yeah, you know? most of I think of the upper house of the Imperial Sovereign Court, Dixon and Davina and everybody else, and uh, Lady Tenderflake, yeah. uh, the fabulous Melinda Verga. Yes, uh, Melinda. The incomparable Vanity Fair. Yes. Um, it's going to be a great show, and you know we're going to be right there, front row, filming it all. And that's it for us this week. Uh, we hope to see you out at some point this weekend uh, at one of the many events around the city. Um, if you have an event coming up that you want us to film, send us a message on uh, yes. uh, Facebook or uh, contact us through Facebook, YouTube drag or uh, Dragging Your Heels. That's us. So please feel free to send a message about anything. If you have a gig, whatever, um, let us know. We'd love to cover your event. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. Yay! Bye! Bye.